What shirt is Sam wearing today? It's just a just a drop dead t-shirt, mate. It's got got a tiger on it or something. That's the shirt that Sam is wearing today. Wrestling news. Adam Cole could be leaving the WWE on Friday. Nick Khan has been warned about AEW competition and future plans for the new NXT have been revealed. We'll get to those in a little bit. Adam Cole, maybe? Yeah, it, it, it's one of those up in the air ones, isn't it? It continues to be. So last night, uh, it was there was a bit of a kickoff uh, from certain sources close to WWE. Let's explain what happened. So, Sean Ross Sapp from Fightful, <laughs> he said, oh, Adam Cole's contract is with WWE till Friday. And then here comes PW Insider, who are like, actually, he is already gone. And Sean's like, no, that's not what I said. <laughs> and they're like, well, that's how we that's how we remember it. And Sean went, no, it is Friday. And then Peter Winsano went, oh, okay, it is Friday. You're right. <laughs> and then they kissed. Well, you know, I mean, the, when it comes down to these kind of situations, I guess it could just be sources not really knowing the truth and mm. two different sources hearing two different tales. But... The fact he could be leaving on Friday is is, is fascinating. Yeah, it's so, been yeah. talk he's been a free agent for the longest time. That you know he could theoretically not be subject to any form of non compete. That it could lead to one of the most shocking sort of defections this early on in the war that is now officially on because CM Punk's... How many people are <laughs> AEW going to sign? Uh, suddenly, oh. the, the, the AEW arc is getting very, very involved. <laughs> so uh, the other thing to take from this is that if the contract is up on Friday, uh, Adam Cole has also nixed the no-compete with right. this extension so that it he is. had. Well. So Friday, he is out of there and <laughs> he can go wherever he wants. Now, obviously, uh, Rampage, is it live this week or is it a taped one? I have it does no vary. Idea. <laughs> I, I, am, I don't know whether he would end up on a Rampage, but if for those who thought that maybe he might turn up ringside or something tonight, but I tell you, don't think that's happening unless they're going to pay a lot of legal fees. Do you not worry about this with AEW, that if they keep having all of these big shock reveals that it, it almost burns the audience out and it preconditions them to get used mm. to the idea of shock reveals. Kind of like WCW. I'm not comparing them. I'm just saying kind of like... I am you know, comparing when them we, a little bit. When we had those big kind of, whoa, okay, who's next? Who's next? And eventually the who's next is going to be nobody. And it's like, right, okay, mm. but we want our surprises. So if you've got this many people, like talk of Brian, talk of Cole, like just popping up week after week after week? Like, is it not better to, will we see maybe a delay? Maybe we'll see well, they're just not sort going of reacting. straight there and going elsewhere first? Yeah, they're just sort of reacting to, to the move, to the to the motions that are going on. I don't think they plan to yeah, grab no, these many course. people <laughs> so quickly. Uh, but they just roll, they just roll with the punches, I think, at this point. Yeah, and you're absolutely right. I think the the, the lessons, because I do, I do sort of compare them to WCW and sort of early days well, TNA with what's it's, XYZ it's doing It's difficult because, now. you know, WCW was the last competition wasn't mm. it and now we have new competition so of course there's always going to be that kind of odd parallel there but at the same there time there are yeah. lessons to be learned from that and I, and I get the vibe that AEW are picking up on some not all of yeah. those lessons like they're they're making sure that they have a talent pool that is very much theirs that they are developing still could you imagine though Brian Cole Bray <laughs> just week after week after week that'll be all the all the gang together well one to keep an eye on obviously when we know more coltaholic.com on that one uh, Nick Khan did an interview with uh, Ariel Hilwani for BT sport that was it basically if you want to know how the interview went it was basically Nick Garn going I like money <laughs> well, I can't money, run money, money, money. Four hours. <laughs> <laughs> make me more money make Smackdown eight hours money money money, money, money. Uh, he's a very much a, a money guy uh, I and love Mr. Krabs <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Winston <laughs> Khan as we'll now call him uh, now away from this Dave Meltzer uh, talked about this on Wrestling Observer Radio and he said that uh, Nick Khan was reportedly warned by by somebody within WWE about how everyone will tell him that AEW isn't competition and that if WWE don't make changes, AEW will be catching up with them very soon. Khan also reportedly said uh, everyone in the company indeed told him that no one in AEW is competition. <laughs> well, you hear a, a lot about this. If you listen to any kind of uh, podcast from people who are backstage in and around, especially the booking, you know, if you listen to Pritchard's podcast back in the day when he'd actually tell stories on it, 
uh, or you listen to any, you know, sometimes even Cornette brings it up. There is this thing called the WWE bubble. Uh, and it, it's spoken about at length by most people who were backstage in some sort of political role. But essentially, once you're in there, you're kind of sat around for the first few months going, are you crazy? Look at all this other stuff that's going on. <laughs> and then after like six months, you're just like, okay, but SummerSlam, I'm just hurtling toward booking that under normal circumstances, you would have just kind of raised your eyebrow at. Apparently, you just become a part of that sphere because there's so much going on and and, and yeah. even even some of the language that Khan has used in previous interviews where he says mm. like we are you know we're laser focused you know we're tunnel yeah. visioned on everything because <laughs> you there's so much well, you, you to do the stories right vince only watches his own tv yeah it's true. that's it you should watch EastEnders sometimes, just, <laughs> just to break it up a little bit. So yeah, so, so it's funny how Nick Khan it was sort of fed that, and you can hear it in some of the answers that he gives. Yeah. Like, oh, everything's competition. Like, yeah. Be well, so that means us. So but nice. it, it, it's right, you know, like screen time is now more accessible than ever. If I'm sat watching something on TV and I get bored, mm. I'm going to open up Reddit. So if, or go on YouTube or do something. So, mm -hmm. you know, if WWE or any TV show for that matter isn't kind of doing it for me, I can just get distracted. And that's the thing, you've got to keep people engaged with the big TV now. Absolutely, how's this for engagement? AEW are hosting a special episode of Saturday Dynamite oh. in Orlando. Oh. Oh, Saturday, which is, 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 that, is that one day after, is that one day after a Smackdown? Ooh, I believe, oh. a, I think that's how a Saturday think, tends to is, work. Yeah, yeah. Friday the 23rd of October, or Saturday October 23rd in Orlando, Florida, at the Edition Arena. Dynamite is airing that week on Saturday because they've got the national hockey on. Yeah, the well, NA, you know, it kind, of, it kind of gets pushed around a bit, but at the same time, it means you can have these special kind of shows. Mmm, it's all right, it's nice that. Yeah. Uh, it's all the special shows, All Out in September. What's oh. coming back for All Out, Sam? So it was announced that uh, the second ever Women's Casino Battle Royal will be taking place at All Out, and the first person to declare is former AEW women's champion Nyla Rose. Now this is just a good way to expose a lot of the the women's rosters to the audience, right? You know, you kind of get them out there and 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 show that you know, there are there are people in this roster that people need to get behind and it allows for star making moments it allows for kind of big memorable things to happen it's an interesting time to do this one because it's yeah. next weekend and this weekend it's nwa empower yes which is the all women's pay-per-view put on by the national wrestling alliance mm -hmm. put together by mickey james so you're going to get a, a real sense of who is who on the in on the on the women's indie scene right now on saturday yeah. and chances are There'll be people watching that, and there'll be people from there brought over to maybe make an appearance at AEW All Out for I that. I think that is a possibility. NWA and AEW appear to have some form of working relationship in mm -hmm. place, so it wouldn't surprise me at all. But again, it, it, it helps bolster AEW's women's division in the eyes of the fans, and it helps get you know fresh talent in front of a large-scale audience. Then I'm all for it. The new NXT is our final talking point, and uh, uh, so there was. <laughs> spoilers uh, from last week. Now, there were tapings uh. last night, uh, but spoilers are very difficult to get hold of because basically WWE is chucking anyone out writing on their phone. DM, CA, yeah. If you uh, plan just... to go to the Capital Wrestling Center and then wish your mum a happy birthday at the same time, chances are you're getting slung out. I think all you can probably do now is have a somehow conceal a dictaphone on your person <laughs> and just be like, oh wow, oh I can't believe that X happened <laughs> and I can't believe that, and then you'll have your report you can write up and send to Uncle Dave. Let me start some chance. Dexter Loomis turned heel just now. Oh my God, did you hear those chants? And then sending it over to the report. <laughs> uh, PW Insider reporting with Adam Cole and Karrion Cross gone, looking ahead to future plans for NXT. Uh, we're told the current plan is for Johnny Gargano to be positioned as the top heel for the brand, with Pete Dunne and Roderick Strong main players on the heel side as well. See, after last night watching Dune and Joe squaring up, I kind of thought Pete Dunne was going to be positioned as the top boy. Yeah. Potentially. I, potentially. I think there's still time, you know. Mm. Like, it's not as if he's going anywhere or he's, you know, getting to the point where it's like, he's only got six months left in his career. Like, he's mm. got ages. So yeah. I, I can see Dunn as top of NXT at some point. If it's not soon, then it will be. Kaylee Ray is now permanently part of NXT off of America. She's made the move and she's been based in the Performance Center since the first week in August. And uh, that's a good get for them. Kaylee Ray. It is. Great but, shout um, for them. But. I mean, well, the thing is here, yeah, a, uh, like uh, Kaylee Ray had done everything she could possibly do in NXT UK, but part of me still fears for NXT UK in the sense of like, 
Okay, but where does that leave you guys? How are you, mm. like if, if more people keep disappearing from NXT UK to NXT, then how is NXT UK supposed to kind of flourish a bit more? I, you know, it, this is it's it's early days on this front. Yeah, but I, I'm always worst case scenario in my head, aren't I? So uh, last night on NXT, it looked as if um, Ted DiBiase was done. And yeah. it looks as if uh, the Million Dollar Championship has been retired already. Yeah. So we had a great celebration with the belt, and then Ted DiBiase did a little hoodwink, a little bit of a bamboozle on Cameron Grimes, legged it with the Million Dollar title, and left Cameron Grimes <laughs> a replica from WWE shop. So I think that's the end of the Million Dollar Championship on NXT. Do you know what? It could be, but it could also be that set up to a whole new Wiley like, angle in the tail. Like, Here's the thing. We... Breaking into Ted's house and swapping them oh, around. <laughs> I mean, there is that potentially. But what all this says is like, we, we, we get, you know, we, we give them grief for, for being bad at long-term yeah. stuff. This has been a lovely story. Yeah, this is the it end has, of it, it has. what a lovely Yeah, end. it's kind of nicely closed off. If yeah. the end and maybe a little bit of a, oh, but at the same time, Overall, you can't really complain, can I you? Think, I think the Cameron Grimes, DiBiase stuff has been beautifully done. Exactly. Absolutely beautifully done. Uh, and it's not the end, however, for their time with Full Sail University. So there, were some, there was some speculation forever, friend, that um, Full Sail and NXT were done. Uh, yeah. However, there are there, that's not the case at all. Uh, PW Insider is saying there are no plans to tape at Full Sail as long as the pandemic continues. The door is open to return when the restrictions ease up. Well, this is something as well that it, it's... If, if NXT is moving back toward what it used to be, is there any point, you know, taking it out on the road and having it in arenas like had been rumoured for the longest time that NXT, after all of this, after the pandemic, was going to kind of move up to, you know, not maybe as big as SmackDown or raw size venues, but touring the country and moving around. But maybe if you're scaling back and going for younger talent, it makes sense to keep Full Sail on side and maybe utilise mm. Full Sail as much as possible so you can either tape if you have to or you can just do whatever. But at the same time I I think they always have to maintain a bit of relationship with Full Sail because 25 100%. years from now of NXT still going and it's still all you know the exact same message and it's the younger talent and everything it'd be nice to be able to come back to Full Sail every now and then it's almost like the MSG of NXT yeah I, yeah. Li I like that I like that I always like that idea that in 25 years time probably Tommaso Ciampa will still be there <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting cold up yet boy <laughs> more news as we get it later on stay safe I love you, bye.